Now I'm working on the gold box. I'm kind of going, doing it as I go along to see what size I want. We haven't used an 8 inch stripe yet, so what I had thought, putting the tool where the end of the tape is here, and I'm going to go 8 inches out. I'm going to go, I could just use the tape from here to here because the gold box is going to be closer in. And then I will think of how we're going to do the gold box, finish it up, but center it when we get this tape on the wall. As you can see, I did this side. We're in the area. It's going to be the line, maybe from here and here. Then I'll bring the tape back towards the goal where it's going to be here. Okay? So, again, you can play around with it. It's your creation. However you think you like it, it's your idea. Then that's the way we'll finish it. So, let's get back to work and... Start taping. Not get any easier in how we're doing it. All right, to finish this project, what I have to do is you can see the soccer field right here. I'm going to line up the center of the field and that's going to help me with my goal box and my striker box. So what I decided to take the tool, there's a 12 inch ruler on the tool and I went from the chalk line which will start here and use the ruler and measure to the end of the chalk line here which the halfway mark was 27 and a quarter. So I used the ruler here and measured from the end of the tape where the chalk line begins to 27 and a quarter which is right here and it's also 27 and a quarter here you can double check by measuring using a 12 inch ruler on this side so what I'm going to do I'm going to make sure it's level and I'm going to take it all the way to the left and all the way to the right and the reason being then I, I'll have the center part where I can do my striker circle fullback circles and I should be completed with the project so Let's keep going and we'll be back. What I decided to do for the goal box, I, went to, I decided to go 12 inches using the ruler from the chalk line, 12 inches, and I went downward because I'm going to need that inch for the, for the chalk line for the box. And you did the same up here. From the chalk line, 12 inches, and then I went downward. Leveled it off, put the tape on this way. After the tape was on this way, which is the top part, then I used my other tool, which would be the arm of the tool if you had to take this apart and you stick it on the top of it, where it gives you the halfway mark, which would be one inch, and then the other bottom would be another inch. When you take it off, this is going to be the chalk line, the inch chalk line. So now I'm going to do the other side and we'll be back. All right, here we are at the soccer field. Looks like it's coming along. What I'm doing here with the circle, remember earlier we had already lined the field up where we knew the, where the middle was. What I had did then, I had used this with the center. I took a certain like seven, seven inches, put a piece of tape here, 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 and I went along the circle about every three, four inches with a little piece of tape knowing that it's 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Then I take the other tape, the delicate, the full tape, and then I just kind of move the tape around little pieces to make it all connect, okay? And then I went from the piece I stuck there, I did one on the inner circle, and I'm gonna remove all the stuff in the middle, but now I know it's an inch. Remember, it's your creation. If you don't like it this way, you could do it a different way. Hey, then let us all know about it, and we'll share it with everybody. This is the way that I had thought of it, and it works pretty good. Now with the goal, this is the goal right here. I'm going to paint it white. So after that, I'm going to take a, a straight edge, and I'm going to draw the net into the paint with the straight edge right at the line. So this will be white, straight edge, and this is all going to be flat and smooth. All right? We'll be back. All right, now we're ready to paint. This is what the soccer field looks like. 
Remember, in the middle, is it going to be perfect? No, we're all doing it. But it's however you feel. You have control of the tape. You have control of the artwork. And once you start doing it, you're going to love it and you're going to get into it. To make this perfect, what you can do the best, like what I did, you got that razor blade. So as you measure your points and then you follow the tape and make your circle, if you don't like something, cut it out. Okay, if you want to add more, if you cut too much off and you forgot about it, add more tape. It's not a big deal. Here we go. I'm using semi gloss for the stripes so it really stands out. Did you cut that off? Here we are, finished with the project. The only last part we have is just to pull off the little bit of the tape we have left. This is the best part about doing the project is tearing the tape off so you can see your finished product. What we did is the World Cup soccer field, and here you go. World Cup soccer field created with the U stripe and then design tool. Very easy to do. Remember, whatever you think you could create. It could be a football field, baseball diamond, whatever you think, it will look good on your house. So here's what I showed you guys. I hope you like it. Now you stripe it and design it.